Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to export your creation in Tinkercad into Google Classroom. So what we're going to do, first thing, we're going to come up here to Neat as Boo Boho, and we are going to change it to Name Tag. That way we know exactly what we're dealing with. We're going to come over here to Export, we're going to click on Export, and we're going to choose the STL file extension. I'm going to click on it, and it's going to export. And you can see right here, it says show in folder. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to open up the folder from our Chromebook. You can see right here, it says name tag. Now, the trick to this is you can imagine with over 120 something kids that I have each day, um, I'm going to need something a little bit more than name tag because I'm going to get 120 name tags. So what I'm going to ask you to do, two finger click on the mouse pad and you should get the rename option. And what I'm going to ask you to do is rename your project and then put the period. You just put PER, I'm gonna just choose period four, and then you can just click off of it. Um, don't put a period in there, because again, that will mess up the computer. Remember, there's just the .stl, there should be no other periods in there, all right? What we're gonna do next, we're gonna come up here, we're gonna open up our Google Classroom, and I'm gonna wait for that to open up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose my fake classroom so I can show you what we need to do. I'm going to choose that and up comes the fake assignment. I'm going to click on the fake assignment. You're going to click on 5A or whatever the number happens to be. And you can see I got this attached already from a previous showing. So I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to click add or create and I'm going to go file because I'm going to get it right off of the Chromebook. All right. So I'm going to click browse. And I'm going to make sure I choose the STL file that I have my name on. If I haven't changed the name, make sure you change the name to your name. This way I know exactly whose is whose when we go to 3D print it. If I don't see the name, I'm gonna to have to find out who it is because that file name is gonna tell me who to give this thing to that's created. I'm gonna click open and that's gonna put it right in here. Now you'll see it says unknown file type, that's because Google Classroom doesn't usually work with STL files. Usually it's working with docs or spreadsheets or um, slideshows, things like that. You'll notice that there's no th thumbnail of what you've created. It just shows you the Google Drive icon. That's okay. That simply means that the Google Classroom is not familiar with this. Then you can go ahead, click Turn In, and that will put it in a file that I can access, and then we'll be able to print up your work. Thanks. Have a great day.